guys and welcome to Train Sim World. And yeah, the Great Western Express is finally out as you can see and today I'm going to be starting my Let's Play series where we'll be going through all the scenarios. Well, we'll start with the Class 166 and HST scenarios and then we'll try to attempt the Class 66 scenarios because I'm not a big fan of freight trains but I will try to attempt one of the scenarios for you guys. I will be also doing um, a service mode series which has got to do with services which is a new thing in train symbol but I'll talk more about that in um, that video which will be uploaded after this one but yeah let's look at the scenarios so we've got five scenarios included we've got one called down the line which is with the class 166 we've got Westworld and Christmas closures is which that which is with the HST we got two freight scenarios one that's putting the HST which looks very interesting and another one which is hmm Discharge a rake of hoppers at Hayes Tarmac facility. Okay, that, that looks interesting as well. But today we're going to be starting off with Christmas closures as we are only a few months away from Christmas. So I thought, let's do this one. And this sound, one sounds very interesting. It's a Christmas holidays and Nevgorel has closed London Paddington as part of the Crossrail construction program. Trains are being turned back to Ealing Broadway. And I believe it is with HST. Introducing Cumberland Yard. At least the loading times are fast. Okay then, this is Train Simulator guys. Let's start off by talking about the passengers which look different from each other. They look a lot more realistic compared to Train Simulator. They actually walk, sit down on benches and all that, so that's kind of cool. Got a beautiful class 166 coming into Paddington. If you want to take a screenshot, just press F1, which will take the HUD off, and you can take a beautiful screenshot of the 166. Like that. There's an option to change how good the quality of the actual screenshot is in the menu. So if you want a high quality screenshot, then change that to no from normal to high quality. It wants us to go to platform 3, so let's do that. Yeah, we, we know where we're going, hopefully. I believe you can turn off these uh these blue things, which shows you, which which basically tells you what to do. Now this is the first uh DLC for uh, Train Sim World, so I'm guessing in future DLC they will be turned off by defaults. But a lot of new people will be playing this uh, game, so and I am new to this game as well, so I'm glad they are here. We are going to be taking over this service, which is the HSD, HSD Class 43. In a beautiful GWR green livery. Hey dude. This guy is ready for winter. He's wearing his uh, hoodie. Looks like a October, November time. Actually, it's Christmas time, isn't it? So, yeah. Take over this train. Open the doors. Close the doors. Press tab. So something you can do is uh automatically basically uh manually open doors. So if you click tab, you can lock the left doors, open the left doors, and open the right doors and unlock the right doors. And you can request pass pass a signal of danger as well from this menu. So yeah. On the top le left hand corner you can see the progress of the passengers aboarding the train. Got HST probably going to somewhere like Bristol I guess. Or Swansea or Cardiff Central. Right, let's go click number two for exterior view. It's the HST. If you click two again, it basically puts you to this view, which is the rear of the train. If you press three, it gives you this view. So pretty much the same as the train simulator apart from this view which looks kind of weird. Okay that was an announcement which I couldn't really hear properly. Which is a bit disappointing. I would have thought it would be a bit, bit, bit louder. Okay we're ready to pop the parts so let's go into the cab. Lock the carriage doors. Make sure you do that. Don't drive the train with, with the doors open. Confirm the uh, guard signal, so click this twice. 
You can turn off this off all of this off, I believe. Let's put this into forward. So the train brakes are running, which is this. So the not pressing by A twice, we can point into not troll too, so yeah. Let's get going. Going to Ealing Broadway. We got how many miles? I think that's 13 miles away from Ealing Broadway. And the next signal is in 114 yards, which you can disable, but I'm just gonna keep it for this episode as I get used to it because I am new to train simulator. And I'm sure they've added a lot of new different things. A lot of these buttons do work. But let's actually go to the exterior view and see some of the scenery because it's pretty nice. Obviously it's snowing. Well not snowing but it's snow on the ground. Typical December in, Lo in London. Well it doesn't really snow in London so it's not really realistic is it. <laughs> We got beautiful class 166, which I do want to take a screenshot of. Just about. On the top uh, right hand corner, we see a scoreboard. It feels like it's like a leveling up system, so as more you get, you, you will just level up to level 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. I'm currently level 1 because I don't really play Train Symbol much. And I'm not interested in CSX Heavy Hall at all, so yeah. 12 miles to Ealing Broadway. Press number three. I can go to the. Oh, this is the wrong button. Oh, there we go. Um, oops, there we go. Oh, wait, that's the wrong one. There we go. This is the rear of the train. Now, if you do press eight, um, basically you stay where, where I am now, currently, and the train will just continue going. I have done this before and the game lagged quite a bit, so I'm not going to do that. This game still has quite a bit of optimization problems. Even though I am r running this on uh, an i7 3930K GTX 680 with 16 gigs of RAM, um, that's more towards low uh, minimum requirements, so I'm not going to blame those games entirely. I will probably have to get GTX 1080s at some point. I do want to play this game on high settings. Like the game looks amazing on low settings, which I'm playing currently. So on high settings, it'll just look amazing. Something you can do is basically stand up and try to train like this if you want. And the last time I did this tonight, there was somebody here, but apparently we're standing up now, so that makes sense. But last time there was a person here, but we were standing up, so that didn't actually make any sense. I guess that was a previous um, person who's um was driving the train I guess and he didn't leave the train or something. So you can basically sit on the main one or driver's seat or this, this one. Or you can just stand up and drive the train like this if you're really good at driving trains. You can stand up like this. You can crouch like this. Okay there she is. Yeah. So apparently she's driving the train now which is weird. Okay, well, essentially we're crouching now, and we can drive the train like this actually, if you want. If you want this view, or if you just want to stand here and drive the train like this, I don't know, it's up to you. Or you can sit down here, sit down here. Okay, this is a passenger view. As you can see, those doors just opens. I don't believe you can, since we're driving the train, we can't really move around, but this is a passenger view. In passenger mode, you can just move around from each carriage, from one to another, so that's pretty cool. And you can sit down in any seat you want, first class, second class, standard class, so that's pretty cool. Okay, this is the rear of the train, so... Essentially, we're going backwards, which is kind of cool to see. This is the front. This is another passenger view, which looks really cool. I think this is standard class, I believe. That does lag the game quite a bit. Okay then. That was really weird. Okay, let's not do that again. So yeah, if you're struggling with FPS, then I wouldn't recommend going out too much. Until Duffel Games fix this, because... 
they could optimize this a lot more I feel yeah the game's lagging now unfortunately I do apologize for this it should smooth out eventually I guess hopefully now I am playing on the lowest setting so I can't really do much more okay seems to be better now I believe yeah still laggy Okay, let's just stay in the cab view, I guess. We are how many miles away? I think how much is that? I can't even see that. 8.4 miles away from Ealing Broadway. So normally this train would terminate at London Paddington, but we're going to be going to um, Ealing Broadway. Now, once we get towards Ealing Broadway, it will tell us uh, to apply the brake. I can't remember what button on the keyboard is for the brake, so this might go really wrong. I might have to like check the menu to see what um, keys for that. Oh, that's laggy, man. That's very laggy. Why is it so laggy? Wow, that's weird. Yeah, I don't know why is it lagging so much. That's really disappointing. really disappointing seven and a half miles away from William Broadway <laughs> See, I think I've shown you everything in this cab unfortunately I am lagging quite a bit so let me just qu quickly go to the menu and see if it that helps I can go and check the keyboard settings so we might as well do that for the braking, throttle increase, reverse. Okay, it's that button. Ugh. Don't really like that button. Throttle decrease, automatic brake increase. Is that button interesting? Okay, I'll do. kind of hoping for this to okay I think it's slightly better now so okay it's fine now so the lag is gone now it seems I can move around perfectly so yeah that's optimization def definitely needs work double games let's go out a bit see some of the scenery Pretty cool. Beautiful HSD, class 43. The other two trains included in this route is the, oh there's class 166. That's the, one of the other trains included and obviously the class 66, which is a freight train. Now, I do apologize for this lag. I can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. I would have thought Duffel Games would have fixed this. Like, part of the route is smooth and other parts is not smooth, so... It's kind of like Train Simulator, I guess. So now it's completely smooth, which is kind of weird. What station is that? I would stop and check, but I don't want the frame rate to like completely go completely down, so I'm just gonna stay in the cab. Let me show you some of the buttons that work on here. So we got um, we've got the National Radio Network map there. We've got no smoking sign. We've got some useful numbers from there. Windows uh, tinting film fitted. Okay, do not touch or clean with uh, detergents for one month after. Fitment. Okay then. I don't. I think you can open the doors while the train's moving, but we're not going to. This is the back of the train, which nothing works. I don't believe. Okay, wait, wait. This works. What's this? Engine room light off. Okay then. Well, you can't really see it, so I guess kind of it's kind of useless, I guess. Oh, the game's lagging again. Great.
And now it's fine. Great. Okay. What's this? We've got train supply. Oh, why is it lagging again? Come on, game. Are you serious? Are you serious with me? Now, is it lagging because it's snowing? Or it's like simulating its uh, snowy time of the day? Snow, uh, snowy time of the season? I'm sure if, if it was a clear day with no snow at all, it might be a bit less laggy, so... Put on the best scenario to start off with, but what can you do? So at the beginning of the scenario, you saw me uh, by default running. Now you can change that walking by going onto the menu, so... When you go forward, like you can either walk or run by default. And if you're running by default and you click the shift key, that basically makes you uh, walk by default instead of running. So basically the opposite. Healing board is only 2.7 miles away, so we should be getting ready to slow down. I don't think the brake tone is really like that good. I am comparing that to t train simulator and not train sim walls, so who knows. probably should slow down so there's no timing on this scenario so might as well do that so I'm just gonna okay that's how you do the break okay okay we got a yellow signal so I think we should just slow down anyway next 100 miles an hour well we know we're 100 miles an hour. so it does show you where the speed limit is when it changes so that's kind of cool oh we need to slow down actually yeah let's slow down come on game okay we are gonna overrun this I believe Now we're good. Ealing Broadway is 0 0.8 miles away, so. Okay, I think I slowed down a bit too much. <laughs> Apologies for that. Okay, let's put that to running, put that to fall free. Let's just go idle. Yeah, 25 miles an hour is fine. Okay, where is that red signal? Is that in front of us? Okay, I think that's telling us that we can't go further than Ealing Porter because obviously there's engineering work to London Pangleton, so yeah. It's kind of hard to tell where that signal is. But I'm pretty sure it's before we stop anyway so we're good closing into Ealing Portway Hopefully we'll see some district line trains and central line trains along on the ground, but probably not. Yeah, this is a bit of a slow entry. Apologies for this. I'm just getting used to all the buttons and the, the whole new HUD and all that, so yeah. Okay, okay, we're going too slow. Let's just go before. We're going far too slow. There we go. I believe it tell us it will tell us where to stop. So let us stop in hundred and ten yards from here.
Okay, there we go. Let's open the doors. So. Open the left doors. Let's go to exterior view. Let's see the passengers dip. Let's go screenshot actually, because why not? So yeah, this is Eden Broadway, guys. If you click 8, we can go to free roam. So this is Eden Broadway. I believe these two are for the district line trains and these two are for the central line trains, I believe. And this one as well. Or maybe this one's for our GWR services, maybe. Stopping services. And we've got two tracks here and two tracks here. Good. We're still loading passengers, so that's okay. It's Ealing Broadway. Looks good. Definitely think they could do a bit more work here. This is a bit plain, I think. They could have probably did some more work here. Maybe open this or something. This got passengers on the thing, which is these something. Okay, you're clear to Acton Yard. Okay then. We're gonna be going to Acton Yard now, so Okay. Let's go into running and let's get going. Actually. Let's lock the doors first. That will be a bit uh, wise, I think, as we're moving a train. I do apologize for the lag, guys. Okay, stop it, Epton Yard. Let's get going. I really wish this wasn't lagging so much. So far it's been a very enjoyable scenario. I'm loving the new features on the game. Hopefully it's not too lag on YouTube. I will try to download the latest driver or do something, try to fix the slag if I can. Now I am using um, NVIDIA Shadowplay to record this so it's probably the best software to use to record this game as it won't affect too much when it in, when it comes into our uh, recording because when you use thing, things like OBS and Bandicam that you get uh, a lot less FPS because you're recording as well as playing the game but that uh, it shadow play negates that it tries to ne negate it so that's why I'm using it and one thing it doesn't have is uh, turning the mouse uh, cursor off on the actual video so you will see that at the beginning of the video, unfortunately. Okay, you got 0 0.8 miles away. Yeah, we can go faster, but I'm just going to go 18 miles an hour. Just need to get used to the controls. Let's go a bit fast, actually. I think 20 miles an hour should be fine. Okay, there we go. Speed limit is going up to 80 miles now, which doesn't really matter to us because we're going to be going to the yard, Acton Yard. Kind of cool. Okay, we should start slowing down soon. slow down it's 
it's definitely helpful having the speed limit on actual in front of you where you can see it not on a HUD especially if you're new to the game it's really useful you can see how how many yards until the next speed limit signal which is something you can't do in train simulator so in theory I shouldn't really be speeding at all because I can see it in front of me I am known to speeding in train simulator as you guys know if you watched any of my videos Okay, 300 yards. It is a 50 miles an hour speed limit anyway, so can't really go faster. Now the drawing distance is is to low uh, low settings as you can, as I told you before, so things will spawn in front of us. Unfortunately, I wish I could play this game on high settings, but. I will definitely need to buy a new PC, which I will be buying soon, maybe maybe in one or two years time I guess. Don't quite have the money for it now. Well I do have it but I don't don't really want to be spending a couple of grand on a new PC right now. Okay. It doesn't really matter where we stop, here is fine anyway. Actually it does matter, great. Now it tells me. <laughs> Hopefully going ahead of it is fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay then. Set the reverse to engine off. That's the wrong one. Okay, why does that move? That's annoying. There we go. Set the master key to lock. There we go. Set the head headlights to tail lights. There you go. Head over and climb aboard the power card at the end. Okay then. Let's open the doors. We can close that door. So by default I'm running, but when I press uh, shift as well, shift now, I'm walking so you can adjust it in the menu like I said. You can walk on the tracks in a scenario. I would recommend doing it when the train's coming, but you can do that. Yeah, my guy can run fast though, look at this. Nice. Can you open the door please? There you go. Climb the steps. Okay then. Set the mask to unlocked. Forward. Set the headlights to day cab. There we go. So the train breaks to running. Okay, we can do that by the keyboard. And set the throttle to notch one. So let's get going. Stop at location Ealing Broadway. I wonder if we're going back to slide. I don't think we are. I think this scenario is trying to show us the, how to get get to grips with the train. Like, obviously we were driving for the other cab, but then we switched cabs, got got out the train, locked the master key on that side, and gone back to this side, and do everything by default. So that's kind of cool. But yeah, I think we're going to Ealing Broadway now. Then the scenario will end, I believe. 30 miles an hour speed limit, but we should be fine. Actually, we're speeding, I think. Yeah, we're speeding. But 
It doesn't really matter, does it? When the speed limit on the bottom right hand corner is red, it means you're speeding. Now it's still telling us we're speeding, which is a bit weird, so... Oh well, I don't really care. That's a speed anyway. <laughs> Speed limit is going up to 80 miles now anyway. And now the speed uh, in, in, in uh, miles per hour is uh, not red now, so we're within the speed limit. Up to 70 miles now. If you're wondering what I'm drinking, I'm drinking a cup of tea. As you guys know, I do quite often when recording a train simulator video. Okay, we are approaching eating Broadway, so we will slow down eventually. Come got 3,993 XP, I believe. That's what it says, I think. I don't know how well the leveling system works, maybe you unlock new hats and new customization for your character as you level up, which is kind of cool. I believe we have to go on a blue thing for for it to accept. It's a bit annoying, but it's okay. That will do. Objective complete. Lock the doors. Loading passengers. Are we going back to uh, Slough? Maybe, not too sure. I thought the scenario was 40 minutes long. It seems to be a bit longer than that. Yeah, I wonder if that Double Games have actually played this scenario before. Probably not. The few YouTubers already have found a bit few glitches with the game and scenarios, so yeah. Let's take a screenshot, because why not? Need a few screenshots for the thumbnail, I guess. I think two... Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm not too sure why he told us to stop there, because the rear of the train isn't on the platform, but okay. Makes sense. Check to complete. Lock the carriage doors. Stop at location Slough. Oh, we're going to Slough, I guess. Okay, then. Let's put in this running. And let's get going. You know what? Let's just go throttle max, because why not? Speed limit is 125 miles an hour anyway, so let's see how fast we can go. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this scenario isn't 4 minutes long. More like 60 minutes, I think. So we've got 12 miles to slow. Let's go exterior while we can, while it's not lagging. Yeah, 
Yeah, very nice detail on the class 43 as you can see. Very nice, look at that. Very cool. I believe M comes up with the map. No, he doesn't. Hmm. There's an in-game map which Knocks. I don't really uh, remember what button it is, unfortunately. So I would have thought it was M or B, I guess. No, nope, not some B or M. How do you open the windows? Or oh, you can't open the windows on this train. What does this do? Nothing? Nope. Caution! The area beyond this door is protected by a flame gen fire extinguisher system. Okay then. Not seeing much AI. Which is typical of Souls games. Now, unfortunately, there's no Steam Workshop available for Strain Simul yet, so I'm hoping they will uh, have Steam Workshop available very soon. Then again, I am struggling with FPS, so more trains would be nice, but FPS probably won't be good, so I guess that's a good thing, right? But yeah, kind of wish there were some more Class 166s coming along the line. I haven't actually seen any class 66 so or maybe they're not run on this part of the route. But we did go to Acton Yard, which you would expect a freight train to go to, so. Kind of interesting. So I believe we're gonna be stopping at Slough and then the snowy will end. Currently going to 83 miles an hour. It does take a while to go up to 125 miles an hour. So on the hut on the bottom right hand corner there's a few things like we're going up a gradient by 0.1% there's a is that announcement I heard again? I'm not too sure I don't know why the announcements are so uh, quiet in this game it's a bit weird I'm really liking the hut though in the bottom right hand corner though A lot better than Train Simulator, which covers pretty much the whole bottom of the screen. Obviously you can play without the HUD, but... I kind of need a HUD, because I'm not the best train driver. But we currently got 5397 XP, which is, I guess, good. We'll definitely get level 2, I guess. Nothing much on the top, though. I'm guessing that's what it looks like in real life. Okay, how many miles we got left? 7.9 miles, that's a long time. Okay, let's go into this stand up for a bit. Now, so, well, actually we can't go, damn it. So if this was a class 166, 166, we could pretty much just go through this door and go and be a passenger, I think, I believe, which is, obviously you wouldn't do that in real life, but this is a game, so you could do that, but obviously, obviously the engine is behind this, so we can't actually do that, fortunately. Okay, now we're at the rear of the train now. It's not passengers on this train, which is a bit disappointing. Okay, oh there we go, there's, there's one passenger, hey dude. Yeah, he's glitching out on the chair. Mm. Okay then. This is first class, GWR first class. Very nice. Pretty cool. 
probably row 11, I guess. Or chair 11. Oh, this looks nice. Okay, this is a bit weird. On the left hand side, it's basically invisible, okay. That's another glitch for this train, I guess. Yeah, that looks kind of weird. <laughs> yeah, that. Okay. It's a GD Blood normal class, I believe. So you can toggle between all the things, which is kind of cool. Okay, we need to go back into the main cab. Main seat. Because we're only 4.3 miles away. Oh, we're at 121 miles an hour already though, so... Probably starts... Get off the throttle, I guess. No, no, we don't want max throttle, do we? Yeah, probably should slow down, so I'm, I'm gonna do that. So far it's been very good, it's not very, very interesting. However, optimization I would say could do a lot, a lot with a lot of work. However, as we're going towards slow, it's been a lot better with the FPS, which is which is kind of weird. As we got towards uh, Ealing Broadway, it was quite laggy, but most of this journey towards slow has been lag-free, pretty much. So it's kind of interesting. Wonder what state that station is. Hmm. No idea. Yeah, we got a red signal. No, a yellow signal. Sorry. Hopefully, it won't. Be I wonder what what would happen if we pass red signal in the game. On the previous game, train simulator the scenario would end, so I'm hoping that doesn't happen again. <laughs> I don't think it will. That's fine. 54 miles now. Got a double yellow, sig yellow signal actually. Obviously, if you want to test yourself, then you can obviously turn off all of this off. Turn the hot, hot off as well. Yeah, 40 miles now, it's fine, I guess. Enjoy it, uh, the coast into our Slough station, where we started. Probably a lot longer than four minutes ago, but okay. Okay, got under a mile away. Probably best to go 40 miles now because there's a yellow signal ahead of us. It's gone from a double yellow to a single one. Next signal is a red signal, but I think it's after um, we stop at our Slough station, so we should be okay. That being said, that red signal might be... Hmm, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's after the station. Looks like it. Thirty-one miles an hour is fine. There's an old uh, tractor, I think, or crane. Five hundred yards away. The next station is Slough, where I guess it terminates here. Maybe. Actually, I think we'll continue probably to uh, Reading or something. HST coming into a Slough Station. We might have left this bit too late, I think. No, I think we're good. Yeah. 
Best stop here because there is a red team ahead of us. Unlock the doors. Let's take a screenshot because that's this is gonna be a nice screenshot, I think. Oh whoops. Okay, um How about that? I wish that HSC would come into the station but it's not going to so Hoping for a nice screenshot, but that's okay. Oh, that's laggy. Okay, let's just stay in the cab, I guess. Not too sure what that HST is doing. But I believe the snow will end after this. It is 9.39. I believe we started at 9 o'clock, so... Should have been 40 minutes long, I believe. Passengers are almost boarded the train. Objective complete. Lock the doors. Thank you very much. Now what do we do? Walk out to exit the Okay then. Okay, the train driver will continue this journey guys. I'm off to get... I don't know, go back to sleep I guess. <laughs> Let's run. Let's run guys. We want to go home as soon as possible. That's what I normally do when I finish work. Run home. Well. Run to the bus stop and then get the train after that. Yeah, we are jogging along. Oh, let me see this ticket machine, actually. Pretty decent ticket machine, I'll say. Unfortunately, there's nothing on the screen, which is a bit disappointing. Obviously, this is the card reader. Wait, touch your Oyster card, if you're wondering. CCTV is an operation. For those who like to do things that they're not allowed to do, like smoking in a train station. We got 17,000 XP for that. That's pretty good. Okay, we get XP for the class 43, we get XP for London Times for Reading, 12,000 out of 13,000, okay. And I'm level 3, 7,214 XP out of 12,000. Okay, let's continue. Next scenario. Load last checkpoint, replay scenario. Oh, um... Yeah, I think I'll end the video there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like, share with your friends. And I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.